Data Log Viewer is a new free web-based tool provided by Banks Power. It allows you to visualize and analyze data logs from your Banks iDash data monster or just about any other data logger. We'd like to show you how it works, so let's jump in. You'll see that when you first open the website, a sample file has been preloaded. If you have an iDash data monster, the data logs will be found on your micro SD card. Slip the micro SD card into your laptop or desktop computer to browse the files. Locate the log on the SD card that you want to view and then upload it to datalogviewer.com. Right now it's uploading a data log to the website. As soon as it's done uploading, you'll see a new file name over here, which should match the file that you just selected from your folder on the SD card. Then it will update the graph. To start off on the middle section, you'll see an XY graph and you'll be able to see the different channels. Right here, you can see and select any of the channels that were recorded on the data log. And you can do the same for the bottom graph as well. Then on the left over here, you'll see an option for the number of graphs that you can view simultaneously. You can increase it to three or even four graphs. Let's move down to just two graphs so that we have more space to work with. There's also an option to show or hide the channel, which gives you a little more space to work with once you select your channels. And if you need to make a change to your channels, simply flip the toggle to show channels. Below that, you'll see an option to switch between time or sample. Sample rate is based on the data logging rate from the original recording. Or you can toggle it back to time. Below that, you'll see an option for smoothing. This will be a running average to make the data look more smooth. So if you move it down to zero, which is the lowest setting, you'll see it gets kind of choppy. If you move it up to the 20s, you'll see that it smooths it out a little bit through these steps. You'll see it over here that it's working on smoothing. So based on the update rate that your vehicle or external sensors provide, you might want to play around with this setting to smooth it to your liking. On the right, over here, you'll see a summary table. Since you don't want to graph every single channel, we use the summary table to provide a snapshot at different points in time. So for example, if we click on the graph at 22 seconds, the summary table will change to reflect all the parameters at 22 seconds. So let's say 19 seconds. We'll find 19 seconds on the graph and click the mouse. Once it updates over here, you'll see 19 seconds and how all the parameters update to reflect that point in time. Ambient air density, manifold air density, and every single channel that you've recorded on that micro SD card, all at the 19 second mark. This is really useful for looking at snapshots in time. Over here in the bottom left, you'll find options for the summary tables. For example, you can completely hide it, which gives you more room for the graphs. If you want to see the full names of the parameters, you can check this box and it'll show you the long name. This is handy if you don't know what IAT or IAD stands for. There's also options to show or hide the units, show or hide the minimum and maximum, and the average, so you can basically fine tune how you want to view the data or view the summaries. For the graphs themselves, they're dynamic, so you can change and zoom into the graphs live. If you hover over it, you can see the actual data value at each time interval. And if you click and drag, you can zoom into different sections. You can either double click to zoom out, or you can use the buttons at the top right to zoom in and zoom out. The same thing applies to the Y axis. You can zoom into a certain Y axis, or you can do a window zoom by clicking and dragging across. Once again, double click to zoom out. Another option for zooming out is to click the auto scale right here. Once you zoom into a section, you can also use the pan cursor over here. And if you click and drag, you can slide from left to right and move along the X axis. Once you're done with that, you can hit your zoom again and go back to your normal cursor. Finally, we have an option to export as an image. You can download the entire graph as a PNG. And if you open it up, you'll see the graph that we were just looking at. 
We also added an option to export it as a white image. So if you check this box over here, if you select the white background and then save it as a PNG, you'll have a far more printer friendly version. So that is datalogviewer.com presented by Banks. We look forward to your feedback.